Hey YouTube, what's up? It is Grow School here. Hi everybody. Yesterday I went Thought Park with a lot of my friends in real life and uh, actually one of my fans who I actually met up with about a week ago called Brandon who's 16 and he just left school and to be quite honest he has a b bit of an idea where he's going with his life and I thought, holy shit, it's not just this guy. If this, if this guy's got the problem of he don't know what he's doing then what about all the poor guys out there, all the British people out there that have just left school just like him I haven't got a fucking clue what to do. And that's what this video is about. Because to be honest guys, when I was 16, I had not a fucking clue. Literally, I got through school and um, I didn't know what to do at a six, when, when, when I left. Um, so yeah, this video is about uh, just me, grow school, giving you guys some guidance or some advice. Uh, and try and make, hopefully you don't make the same mistakes that I did. Um, but yes, let me first start by saying, to be quite honest, you don't have to listen to me. You can turn off this video right now and uh, just go hopefully get better advice from somewhere else if you know where that is. Um, teachers, family, friends, um, even e even just like Googling it. But um, because to be quite honest guys, I actually did really bad in my GCSEs, which is like the grades here in the UK. My GCSEs were actually dog shite, draven shite. They were so bad. I got ungraded, I got G. F's, D's, I got one C, and that was in dance. I never took drama in school. Um, to be quite honest, I thought that uh, there was a girl in my class that I fancied who was in dance, and I thought, hell, why not join dance as well? Because she's in it. Hey, I don't enjoy fucking dance, but I got stuck doing it because of, uh, I got stuck doing it for three years because, well, I thought it was the right thing to do. So let's start from uh, base one because I want this video to actually drag out. I, I want to do. I want to be an in-depth video because there's actually going to be a lot of people out there that have a lot of questions. Hopefully, I'll cover them all. If you guys got any questions, please leave them in the comments on YouTube to help out other people just like you. But um, this video is based for all the 16-year-olds that have just left school that live in the UK. Um, I don't know if you live abroad in Germany or, or that, sorry, that's in Europe. But if you live in America or Canada, I don't know about your grading system. Apparently you stay out of school till 18, I'm not quite sure, but it's all my lads out there. The Grow Score Army, that's what we've been calling you guys. If you, if you subscribe to me on, on Twitch, we call it the Grow Score Army, not the big dick club or the sub club. Grow Scores Army. So, yeah, anyways, moving on. Let's start by talking about all the people out there that are actually in year 8. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's year 8 when I took my GCSEs. You, you're actually give, given uh, a piece of paper uh, and for what subjects you want to take. Let me start by saying... It's simple as this. For all you people out there in year 8, or is it year 9? I'm pretty sure it was year 8 when I picked mine. Pick what subjects you enjoy. Don't listen to anything anybody says in your class, because I was easily convinced. There was a couple of kids in my class that said drama was hard, and there was a lot of paperwork. For that reason, I got put off, and I didn't do it. Ignore them people. Listen to me. Do whatever course you want to do. If you want to do dance, go for it. If you want to do music, do it. If you want to do science, do it. But I'll give you some advice. Do what you enjoy, not what anybody else wants. Don't pick science because, oh, there's a girl you fancy and she's doing triple science, so you go do triple science. That's chemistry, biology and physics. Don't do that. Don't fall for the same mistake I did because you'd end up doing that same bloody subject for the next three years and to be quite honest it's not fun so please pick what you want to do for all you kids out there that's age between 12 and 13 pick the GCSEs that you want to do because that is your future simple as that what do you want to become and this is, this is another thing this is the next topic now the truth is guys life isn't that hard really the, the purpose of life is for you to be happy and in that in my opinion just do what you enjoy so, what do you want to be when you're older? It's that simple. If you want to become, so let's just go with a musician. Pick music and pick maths, English, anything else extra and go through school. When you go through school, you do college and then go to university and then hopefully something comes up. You make a business or you get found because that's what a lot happens. That's what happens a lot. So, all you people out there, GCSE is the most important thing when you're age 12, 13. Pick what you want, not what anybody else once okay that is number one please do that because i was a mug i picked dance i can't say how much i hate dance but i did it for four years because i fancied this girl and we never start dating she didn't we never speak for four years i wasted it i didn't do drama so 
There you go. All your grades, everything. Pick the subjects that you enjoy the most. If you don't enjoy history, don't pick history. If you actually, all right, what I prefer, geography or history, do which one that you enjoy, which one you do well in. There you go. Now, this is the subject of the video, and let's get to the main bit. All you 16-year-olds that have just finished school, or unless you dropped out earlier, and as a tip to you boys out there, do not drop out of school no matter how hard it is. Try your hardest to stay in school. Don't look for an argument. Don't look for fights. Don't care what people think. You go to school to study. You don't go there. To, you can also go there to make friends on the sides. But to be honest, guys, when I left school, all, all my so-called friends fucked me over. They all left. So yeah, Draven, can you? You're my only friend. He's my only friend. He's my only friend remaining. No, I'm joking. I got my best friend Ryan that's by my side still when when I need him. He's a good guy. So when you left school, the best, most important thing to do is this. There's going to be a few options, okay? And this is all you lads out there. You may have friends on Facebook that are bragging, Oh, well, I got I got work with my dad. You know, you may have friends out there that may got, got lucky, right? M maybe you're not a lucky person. Maybe you're watching this video because you need guidance. There's going to be kids out there on your Facebook and all your friends in real life that say, Well, I'm fine because I got work with my dad or I'm fine. I've got this work lined up for me. To be quite honest, guys, all the people out there that go out at the age of 16 and find full-time work um, in a pub. They might be a waitress or a waiter. They might go full-time work at Sports Direct or McDonald's. A lot of them kids are going to end up hating their job and they're going to end up pulling out their hair. Yeah, so what? They're earning £6 an hour full-time. Way £6 an hour. Amazing. It's not a lot of money when you grow up, you'll find out. You might think at your age 16 that's a lot of money because you don't pay rent. You might think that's a lot of money because you don't pay bills. But to be honest, guys, £6 an hour is minimum wage and it's not very good. So, all you kids out there that are saying that you might feel the vibe from your friends to go out and find work because all your friends are working. My advice, don't do it. What I would advise you to do is this. If you're 16, if you finish school, I would recommend you go to college. All you kids out there in the UK. Why? Because it's free. Here in the UK, we have a program which is free for any... No, it's not a program. It's just natural. It's, it's just... I'm pretty, it, it's in there. It's in the education that it's free to go to college um, as a 16 year old. Go to college. Now, you're gonna be asked this. What do you wanna study? It's the same again for GCSEs. What do you enjoy? It's that easy. Now, here's my mistake. I thought, don't fall for the same trap I did. Just because I like playing RuneScape and I like playing League of Legends. Oh, actually, I, I like playing video games. I wasn't playing League of Legends five years ago, but I like playing video games on my PC. Because I enjoyed my PC and gaming on my PC like Counter-Strike, I thought, oh, I'll just pick an IT course because, way, yeah, gaming, way, yeah, that's what's, oh, I'm, a, I'm always on my computer, right, you know, so a business course or an IT course is great for me. No, it's incorrect. You do not want to go down that same trick I fell for. This is what branded my friends get mixed up with. Just because he likes League of Legends, he thinks he needs to do an IT course. Incorrect. Do what you enjoy, okay? Just because you enjoy playing games doesn't mean that you got to do a business course, which I did, because that's what I did, guys. I got onto my careers advisor when I was 16, and I thought I was being polite. I thought I was being kind. When he asked me, what do you want to do? I turned around and told him, oh, I want to, um, I'll do anything. Give me a challenge, I'll do anything. I wasn't helping him. I was making his job 10 times harder, which isn't good. So... What do you enjoy doing? What do you want to be? Honestly, people say that at 16 it gets harder and it's up to you. But that's a good thing, guys. It's up to you now. This is the point. You've gone through school, right? You've done what you need to do. Now it's up to you guys. And this is don't feel patronised or upset or uh, worried. It's easy with the right help. It's not hard. Do college. What do you want to be when you're older? What do you enjoy, what do you enjoy doing? It's that easy. You go through college, you do the right course, you go to university, you do your years of university, and there you go. And then you're going to hopefully have something going for you. You'd have the qualifications, and the majority of people come out of university, yeah, it's true what they say. It, you do sometimes go bust and you're left with debt, but you won't have to pay that money back unless you find full-time work. So it's a win-win situation. You go through university, and then you may have to pay that money back if you find a job with £25,000, I'm not completely sure on the digits, per year. So, let's go back a bit, because I'm skipping a bit too ahead here. College. Do college. Now, 
If you're in school and you did bad like me in your GCSEs, it's not game over. You might think, oh shit, I fucked up my GCSEs. Oh, I had some really bad results in my GCSEs. I've got Fs, I've got Gs, I've got ungraded. Oh, I've ruined my life. No, you haven't. That's the exact same f trick I thought I did. I thought I messed up badly. Just because I got bad results in GCSEs, I thought I fucked my life up, I fucked my future. Shall I tell you the truth, guys? GCSEs, about GCSEs. Sure, it's on paper. You can go the rest of your life saying to any person, by the age, when you grow up, 20, 30, 40, 50, you can say to everybody, I've got A's, I've got B's, oh, look at me, I'm amazing. To be quite honest, guys, GCSEs help you with a couple of things. One, they help you with skipping probably one year or two years of college, which is good, I, I suppose. Way you're skipping college years, amazing. You don't go to the BTEC, which is basically for like, uh, not don't think it's for re the retarded, but it's for people that didn't do so well in GCSEs like me. You have to do your BTEC. Now, people with good GCSEs, if you had three um, grades, A to Cs, you can actually skip a year of college, which is okay. On top of that, guys, why are GCSEs so good? Well, when you just got the results in, for a good couple of years, if not five or ten years, they look nice on the paper. If you want to go work somewhere, you're going to hand in your CV, and you can just say, you can throw it in the extra. I got A's and B's in maths and English. They might go, oh, that's good. He's a he's an A star student at, at school. That's pretty good. But to be quite honest, in a couple of years, after five or six, seven, eight years, GCSEs doesn't matter because you may have dumbed down or you may have got smarter. You never know. I generally think I've cut them a lot further. Um, from five, six years ago, and I think if I could redo my GCSEs now, I think I'd smash it with the uh, right help, with the uh, if I actually studied, you know. Um, so don't panic. Now, all colleges will offer you, no matter what you want to become, you can always do, you can always start from the bottom up in college. For example, for me, I want to do performing arts. After I did a business course, which I hated, let me elaborate, I did business in college because I thought, oh, I, I like PCs, you know, I like games, that thing. They put me on a computer course. What did I have to do? Well, I had to type memos and letters. I got given written copies of draft letters and I had to correct it with the right punctuation through my computer, through the keyboard. Great news is I learned how to touch type. Bad news is I hated it. It was boring. The whole year took forever. To be quite honest, I don't think I went for the whole year. I think I dropped out after eight months. I don't think I got a result from it, but it wasn't for me. So, what did I do? Come following September, because that is when they enroll, I went ahead and I picked to do performing arts because I thought it would be great. I like showing off. I like making people laugh. Why not go on stage? Huh? Why not that? Performing arts. It gave me the right confidence because I couldn't talk to girls. I couldn't talk to guys properly. Clicking my nails. Sorry about that. Um, I wanted confidence. So what I did was I did performing arts. And I had bad results in GCSE. <laughs> really bad. So what they did is they put me on a BTEC. And a BTEC is basically for like beginners. But as I said, there were some backward people. There's like one guy that really, well, he couldn't really read or anything. But there were... 25 year olds, you know, even 30 year olds that were on the course at the start. Uh, they were my age, 18 year olds, 19 year olds, 16 year olds, all of them that did bad in GCSEs, you know, so don't feel left out. And don't get put off the course, you should be at college for the right reasons. Um, so I did a B Tech for a whole year, and after that whole year, it was amazing, I had great fun. Why? Because I enjoyed what I'm doing, I enjoyed being on stage, and I enjoyed it for a whole year. I met people like me who wanted to be there for the same reason. After a whole year of being at B Tech, I moved on and did a two year course, and I loved it. It was um, a great time. And it was a lot harder, but I enjoyed it. And I passed with flying colours. Me, Ryan, did. Um, it was amazing. And I met some really nice people. Now, I was going to go on to do university. Because um, I, I started to get a head on my shoulders. And I was going to do university. But what happened is, streaming came up. This is likely what I do for a living. Um, streaming. Yeah, you guys know what that is. That's where I play video games online and my whole YouTube. Uh, luckily, thanks to you guys, I actually, well, I'm, an, I'm actually uh, self-employed, marked. Um, and I pay my own rent and look after myself. And uh, I got lucky. I really do believe I got lucky, you know. But it's a lot of hard work at times because um, I want to keep growing, you know. So I've got my own problems, but there you go. Now, my best friend Ryan went to university. Um, now, well, a lot of you guys are going to think... Oh my God, I'm not going to university, it costs a lot. For a start, guys, you don't got to pay anything up front. You don't. 
I'm pretty sure you don't. Okay, so let's say you do your college, you do two years of college, um, and you wanted to go on to doing dance at university. Okay, you can do. You don't got to pay anything up front. I'm pretty sure, uh, but I will say this: it's a lot of hard work. But if you really want to work hard in your life, because this is how life works, if you work hard, you get results and you get um, you go places. You're rewarded if you work hard. That is how life goes. So, you go to university. Um, you're there for years. The great thing is, it is as it is. As you meet a lot of people. Um, you live alone. You, know, you can have friends. In the, you meet people. You have a lot of friends. Um, there's a lot of clubs. You have a freshers week. You have a great time. I don't know this exactly, but I've been told. You go out, you get drunk, you get meet a lot of people, but the work is hard. There's a lot of written work. But don't get put off. As I said, if you really want to overcome somebody in life and you want to have a good pay and you want to enjoy life, you've got to work hard, guys. That's it. After university, I mean, you're going to be working hard for the rest of your life. Life isn't going to be given to you like this. You're not going to be able to go, oh, leave school, leave college. Oh, now I'm going to become a millionaire. No. Unless you win the lottery, of course, but you're not going to. I'm telling you the way it is. Maybe you might, but obviously, chances are it's going to be very rare. You might inherit a house from your parents who died. Sorry to hear that they died, but you might get lucky. But a lot of people out there, you've got to work hard. Okay? Um, there you go. You go for university, it takes a few years, a few years, and after a few years, and I'll be quite honest, um, if you're a musician, you may get picked up. Because a lot of people that are looking for talented musicians, they go to the universities, the best universities, and a majority of universities, and they look for people to pick up. Spotters, they're called. Um, same for dancers and actors, you know. Um, you might, and you most likely find, with the right help, you will go on to the next step. You might find full work, full time work. You might open up your own business. Um, a lot of people that come out of university and they have their, they, you get given your results and your grades and your qualifications. That's how it works. A majority of it you pass because your teacher will tell you if you won't pass and you'd have to drop out. But you're always pushed. If you can get for the whole time at university, you'll, you'll pass. And um, if by the off chance you get for university, you'll be a, age 20, 22. Maybe. Um, if the off chance that you don't go anywhere, you didn't get any work, the truth is you don't need to pay back any of that money you owe. You owe probably a couple of 20,000. I'm not quite sure exactly. Every uni is different. But until you're earning £25,000 per year, then you've got to start earning back that debt. Now, don't think of it like this. Oh, well, I'm not going to work for the rest of my life and I won't have to pay back £25,000. Because the truth is, if you do get a salary of £25,000 per year, you have to pay back that money you owe to the university slowly every year for the rest of your life until you pay it back in like a couple of grand every year. That's it, lads. There you go. The truth is, do what you enjoy, guys, boys and girls. Don't do what somebody else wants you to do. I wouldn't do something. For example, kids in my school when I was age 14, they all wanted to be plumbers. Why? Because it was good money, apparently. I don't know. That's what they said. I don't know if plumbing is good money. But the truth is, you've got to do what you want to enjoy. Because let's say you go to school, you want to become a plumber because your friend said it's good money, so you go to college and you do plumbing as a course. And then after that course, you want to go to the next thing. So you do university and you hate it. Why? Because you're not, you're not interested, but you just want the money. Let's say you go to university and you pass. Oh, great, well done. Let's say you find work in plumbing and you do it. The truth is, guys, every day you're going to be waking up for the rest of your life. <sighs> go go to work. Ooh, you're not going to enjoy it. Yeah, you have the skills to do plumbing. But you want to enjoy it. So, what's it going to be? You do something you enjoy, or you do something you don't enjoy. Yeah, you're getting paid great, but are you enjoying it? Or you do something you enjoy and you get paid. So that's what I mean. So what if this job, the plumbing, is paid a couple of extra thousand per year? This one, the other hand, you're enjoying. You're looking forward to waking up and teaching. A teacher. That's what I would love to call a teacher. You know that. Funny enough, I'd love to become a teacher. Acting teacher. You know, I might even p pursue that one day. You never know, I don't know what's around the corner for me. I'm only 22, but hopefully this video has opened up some people's eyes. Now, to all you people out there that have just left school, or you dropped out of school, or college, and you have no idea what you're doing, you can all easily try and get into a college. If you don't want to go to a college, the best bet is go work full-time. Uh, to all you people out there, I forgot to mention, if you are going to go to college, because a lot of these college courses in the UK are about four days a week, and they call that full time, four days a week, for five or six hours. I would find part time work as well. 
Why? Because it's good to get in a habit. If you work hard, you get money. Then you can go out on weekends with your friends. You know what I mean? So try and find work, part-time work, if you're at college. That's my opinion. Now, for all you people out there that don't want to do college or school or university, your best bet is to keep working every day, full-time. Don't do part-time, full-time. Why? Because it's really good to keep earning. Because the good news is, guys, no matter what, if you work anywhere in your life, you can always, 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 always write it on your CV. Your CV is going to help you. Your CV is like... Or going to say everything that you've ever done. So as long as you don't skip a year of college or you don't skip a year of school, and as you've been doing something. So if somebody asks you, you go to apply to uni. You go, what have you been doing the past three years? You haven't been at college. You can say, I actually work full time as a manager at McDonald's. Wait, that's better than nothing. Sit down, bumming off off your parents. You know, that's not a good thing, by the way, guys. Honestly, break the habit. Move out your parents' ASAP. Why? Because you want to feel what it's like to live alone. And it's a lot better when you're doing it. You're doing everything right. You pay your taxes and your bills. It's a good feeling. And it's a lot more freedom. And Because the truth is, guys, when you grow up, it's up to you to make the change. You know? Um, You've got to go out. You need to, It's your turn now. Your parents have done it. They've had a family. They've got their own thing. They've moved out of their parents' house. It's your turn now. You know? So hopefully you guys are uh, going to do that. Um, I hope that all you guys have learnt something and uh, you're inspired slightly to do something of yourself but I recommend all you people out there sitting down doing nothing do something just try hard even if it's part time work and then come back home and play League of Legends even if you've got to work anywhere don't get put off by the way if somebody says you work at McDonald's huh? at least you work you can throw that back in the face you know it is hard at times work is work it's hard you won't enjoy it but at least you're doing something for your life. At least you're going, you're doing the next chapter. So the worst feeling is, I've been there. I was sitting at my mum's house for four months when I was 16. On my summer holidays doing nothing. No school, no college, no work. And I felt like a bum. I felt bad and guilty. I can't just, you, you realise to yourself, this don't feel right. I can't just sit down and play League of Legends or RuneScape. It's not right. So there you guys go. Um... That's my video. I hope I inspired some of you guys out there. And I know this is a very serious talk, but I want to help all my guys out there, all my Grow Score Army. You know who you are. Uh, because, yeah, um, I was there when I was 16, and it's, we're in, what, we're in July now? And June, July, August, September's coming up. They're enrolling. You want to get yourself sorted. At least now, guys, if you are going to college, think of it like this. Let's say you are going to college in September. You can chill out for the next two months. I think, don't worry, I'm going to college in September. At least you've got something lined up for you. Okay, so there you go, guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys learned something. And um, well, I look forward to seeing you guys on live stream tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, if you guys got any questions, then leave a comment. And uh, hopefully, someone's going to help you. We um, go through the comments. And yeah, if you guys are, if you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to give it a thumb up. Um, if you want to have more down to earth talks like this, because I've well, I've experienced quite a lot in my time. I know I'm only 22. I sound like an old man, but I can guide you guys better than what anyone guided me. Because to be quite honest, I had no guidance. I had a careers advisor when I got to college, but I didn't even know how to go to college. I had to find out myself. My mum did tell me to go to college. Uh, my dad didn't. The school teachers were crap. They were really, really bored. I think school teachers are very slapdash. They're there because they don't, they don't enjoy their job or half the time. Some teachers, the old teacher will, but a lot of them just, they're there to do what they've got to be given and get paid. You know? So there you go, guys. Uh, hopefully, you've learned something. Just trust me. Do what you enjoy. What do you want to be? Anything you want. This is this is the whole point of the world. You can be whoever you want to be. Just do what you enjoy. Okay, lads? Have a good time, guys. Make sure you thumb the video. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. And make sure you share it with your friends if they need help. Okay? If they need help as well, guidance, send them this video. Maybe uh, hit him here. So, yeah. Okay, then, lads. I'll let you guys go. Oh, and one, one other thing. All the people out there that have friends at school, and uh, you have a bunch of friends, you just left school now, I'll, I'll let you know something. And people in the, the YouTube comments might back me up. But uh, the odd chance, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But when I left school, I had a bunch of friends. You'd notice that all of them lose contact with you. You have a bunch of friends, and they just go their own way. And that's how life works. They all just go their own way. You won't hear from them again. You might have to make the effort to talk to them. They won't make the effort to talk to you. I don't know why, but that's what happens to me. So yeah, don't get upset when your friends don't reply or they're busy. Or they're on with their own lives. The truth is, the best bet, you get off your own life. You go show them how to, like, how to do something. Yeah? You go show them who's the best. Go and do it. Right, guys. Make sure you subscribe for more videos. And make sure you leave a comment if you actually enjoyed the video. Or you've got anything to say. Make sure you guys give this video a like. And as I said, make sure you follow me on Facebook. And, uh, yeah!
I'm always on Facebook. And if, if you want to check me out streaming next time, I'll be on Facebook. So I always post from there. I love you guys and uh, represent the Gross Army. Peace, lads.